Hey, Peter. Hey, Michelle. How you doing? Tired. Happy New Year. I look a mess. Happy New Year to you, too. I was saying hey to my friend in the chat. Who's your friend? Princess AG. Who's that? She's a mod on my channel. She's a model? A mod. A moderator on my channel. Oh, she mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. I'm, hi, uh, Princess AG. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Oh, uh, man. And I'm, I'm okay. I need you to perk up, up a little bit. I'm like, what did I walk into? You're supposed to be smiling. It's a new year. I am smiling. Chance to get things right. I am smiling. Look at the smile. Yeah. You smiling now? Now that I got on you. Yeah. I want. I want. I want to prayers and stuff. I'm like, what is we praying for today? No, no I mean, you got to pray. We, we got to pray. We pray every day, we, day we, Peter. We survive. No, there's we, a lot we of people. We not survive. There's a lot of living. people. There's a lot of people that didn't make it uh, from 2023 to 2024. You're right. There are. You know, but you're a, not yeah. one of them. So we can sit here and celebrate yeah. and salute. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad. But, you know, I have to pray for all the ones that didn't. You know? Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm doing. See okay. what I was doing last night? I was taking two people out of a car last night that got erect on that, on uh, 85. That's, oh, no. That's what I was doing at 11.08 last night. Damn. I was Driving home from the airport, and a car hit the shoulder, boom, in the HOV lane. And I saw the sparks from it. And I'm getting off at 80, I'm getting ready to get off at um, the 400. And they were like around 200 feet ahead of me. And I saw them hit. I'm like, oh shit. And then they hit again, and the car flipped. So I, I passed my exit. And I, I'll, I'll pass them, and I pull over like around a hundred yards on the right, going towards Drew Hill. And I ran back. Okay, Ron. And then you know you gotta cross the highway to get into the HOV lane. And when I get over there, the girl was. I think. Yeah, I think the. I think the shock and the trauma that kind of fucked her up. But she just, she was just screaming, screaming. So I had to like shake her hard and yell at her. And she went somewhere and said, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I just shook her. And I said, and she's like, oh, my friend is in the car. <laughs> All right. So when I went around the car, you know what the most craziest fucking thing is, Michelle? Nobody stopped. Mm. Nobody stopped. Everybody looked like it was normal to see a car flipped. No, <laughs> you know people have a place to go, too. They yeah. were trying to help nobody oh, but, these days. Oh, my God. There. That's crazy to me. Well, that's a blessing. So when I went that around there, the guy, the guy was fucked up and blood was coming out of his head and out of his neck. So I'm trying to, but he was like, he was, looked like he's trying to get up. He didn't, he definitely didn't have his seatbelt on. And um, I was, I'm, I'm taking him out and she's coming around to help me, but she's in the lane. So I had to stop what I'm doing, get her and bring her back around the car. I'm like, girl, do me a favor. If you want to fucking live, stay right here. Because, you know, it's that curb. Mm -hmm. So the cars can't see what's going on until they damn near come up. Mm -hmm. All right, so my fear was they're not going to be able to stop. They're going to run into the overturned car, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and I don't want to get caught. No. So I'm looking to see if I could jump over the ledge just in case I to get out of mm -hmm. the way. So mm -hmm. I went around and got him again, and I brought him around, and his eyes, his eyes was this big, Michelle. Just big. I think these motherfuckers was high, okay? So, but he was bleeding. And I'm like, are you okay? And he's just looking at me like this. Like, was he the one that was driving? No, he was in passenger, but uh, he looked like he was, they was in shock. 
Oh, you know, head. Uh, I was told by the paramedics when they have head injuries, they don't, they don't know. But both of them, for some reason, wanted to walk out into the traffic, like if Dang. they don't, like if they don't see cars are coming at eighty miles an hour. Mm. All right, and that was the biggest fear because I'm on the phone and I'm calling nine one one. All right, but I had to go around the corner where the traffic could see me before they that they could see me before they come around. That was the most scariest shit because when they see me, everybody's trying to bear right, but this car is to the right of them already because this is the extreme left, the HOV lane. Mm -hmm. So there's almost seven, eight, <laughs> at least at least seven, eight accidents almost happened with that okay. shit because everybody's yeah. going so fast. All right, and I'm talking to the 911, and they're trying to ask me where exactly it happened. And I'm telling them, you're going north in 85 when you pass the 400 ramp, okay, uh, before you get through Drew Hill just on the turn. What exit is that? I don't fucking know. You should know where the 400 ramp is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm talking to them. All right, and when I look behind me, these fools are walking out in the street again. So I had to run back and grab both of them and grab them like, damn, you toss them on the ground. Like, y'all want to die? Y'all want to die? Y'all are crazy as fuck. Y'all want to die? <laughs> okay. They probably didn't know what they was doing. Like you said, they, either they was high and shot. They, or both. They, they didn't, but the guy's bleeding. And I'm like, what the fuck? All right. And he got blood all over my hands. And I'm going back around to make sure that the car don't come around the corner and kill us. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking on the phone, and it's the most bizarre shit, bro. I, it, a tow truck, I see I see lights coming. I'm like, I'm getting happy. It was a tow truck that came first. And the tow truck, he knows it's a corner. You know what this fucking guy did? He, don't, he didn't put the tow truck in front of the car and myself. He went around and put in the front and I'm like, why would he do that? Okay, all right. Because they still can't see around the corner, but if they see a flashing light in that lane, they'll start slowing down, right? Okay. And then I'm like, why, would, why the fuck would you do that? He didn't even answer me. He's looking at them, he's looking at the car. Okay, I guess he's waiting to get to tow the vehicle, right? And then an ambulance came. It seemed like 20 minutes, but it probably was around probably four or five minutes. All right. I thought the first would be on the scene on New Year's Eve would have been a trooper. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. But it wasn't. When I left, the trooper didn't even got there. As soon as the ambulance, the ambulance people did the same thing. They didn't park where the oncoming traffic could see them they went around and parked even in front of the tow truck and i'm like these motherfuckers are crazy you know what i'm saying because the cars are still coming fast and if they can't stop then they're gonna run into the park car and kill themselves okay but i already got the people out of the car look you did your job man you got them to man. safety was... make sure that that the people were there to to help. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you spent your New Year's? Yes. Yeah. I, I, when I, I was so shook, okay, that I, I was going home to go and change because my flight got in at 10 o'clock and I had to drop my brother off. And then I'm halfway going home. My brother called and said, yo, Peter, I got your key for the car. So you got to turn around and come back and get it. So I turned around and got it. And then I'm going home and then I, when I'm getting off the ramp, this is what I saw when the car flipped. But in, in my surprise, no one stopped to help them. And for the five minutes I was there, and you could see all the, the because the car flipped. So you, you see car parts all over the fucking place, okay, in the HOV lane. Nobody stopped, okay? There are almost three, four accident people trying to come to an end. Cars are breaking, 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 almost hit each other. Mm. Nobody stopped. Even when they stopped and see the accident, 
They kept going. They kept going. That shit was bizarre to me. And if I didn't stop and get these two people out of the car, all the car would have ran into them. They would have been dead. Without a doubt, they would have been dead. And that's all I'm thinking. I don't want to die trying to save these fucking people. Okay? I don't. And they keep on trying to walk into the street. I'm going to have to yell at them. I'm like, if y'all motherfucker don't sit on the curve, you know what I'm saying? It's right where I put you. Go right back there. Because then, even if the car were hit, they probably would have got hit over the, and fall over the rail. And I make sure I look. It was dirt going to the car, to the traffic that's coming this way. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. I got home, I, I washed the blood off, I took a shower, and I just went to bed and thank God I survived that shit. I well, did it's not a blessing. Go you was there for them, though. You got to think of that, too. Like, you were somebody else's guardian angel. Like, imagine if you hadn't have been there. Man, that shit, like, it hit me, like, around around 1.30. It hit me. I'm like, oh, shit. Hmm. I could have died tonight trying to run across the fucking 85. Trying to because when I was running I mean, over there, you not to be so morbid. You could have, you didn't, you lived, you saved somebody I else. No, but when I'm running over there, I don't know what I was gonna find in the car. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And the shit was crazy. And the car, oh my god, that shit was a you know the 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 emble that looked like so a wing in a circle. I think it's a Toyota. In a if it's not a Toyota, it's, an, it's not an Infinity. It's one of those cars. Like I think it was a Hyundai or some shit. Like, no, it wasn't a Hyundai because Hyundai kind of have the H. I think it's in the Toyota family. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, something CR CR seven. You know, it's, it's not a big car. It's a small car. That shit. Oh my God! It was. I don't know how to survive that one. I don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, when the paramedics come, I said he got a head injury. She definitely got a head injury because she just crazy ass trying to run into traffic. Okay, all right, okay, I'm out. And the tow truck driver said to me, "You want me to? You want me to take you across the street to your car?" I said, "No, I think I got that part." The whole time he's standing there, just staring at me. Cause he, like, didn't, what? he didn't know what to do. He was probably waiting for the police officer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what to do? That's, you that made was, it, that was, Peter. That was my New it. Year's Eve. That you was my New Year's it. Eve, man. You made um, it. Hey, I'm here. I'm at my mom's. I, I, I got you up You didn't make today. it to the party. Nah. I didn't want to go to no party after I wake up. I I wanted to get his blood. I was smelling his blood all over my hand. Mm. I wanted to get his blood off of me. I washed his blood off of me. Um, and... Uh, no party for me. I woke up and I'm like, damn, that shit is crazy. Because I just got off the flight. Mm -hmm. I just got off the flight. And if my brother um, didn't have my keys, I would have went home. That accident would have still happened. No one would have stopped and they would have died. Okay. Well, you were where you were supposed to be. Yeah, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what my mom said. She said you was exactly where you were supposed to be. He actually, your brother actually saved their life by having your keys not in your car, she said. Mm. I'm like, wow, what a chain of events. That shit was crazy as hell, you know. So, well, I'm glad you made it. Yeah, man. I have the most fucked up year in 23. Oh, and stop that's how it. it. Stop no, it. that's how it ends. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm like, that's how it ends? So this is how it ends? <laughs> And this is how it begins. I said, but you walk, okay, well, you walked through a, 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 a turbulent situation. Yeah. And you made it through. So that's good. Yeah, you walked I, through the storm, through the fire. I did. And it should be, you know what? Everything else should be smooth sailing for the rest of the year. Let me tell you something. I'll tell you, because so many people have shown me who they really are. Mm -hmm. And I just smile. I tell you something, as fucked up as it was, I'm so thankful mm -hmm. that so many people show me who they really are. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So so I know how to deal with these people or not moving forward. 
the and most that's a blessing. Yeah, that's the, oh my God, that's the biggest blessing. Mm -hmm. Because now I now I'm 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 razor sharp focus. You know? People are around me that I never really there was there's never a real reason for me to see their true colors, you know, and, until you had to go through some shit to see who's in the trenches with you and who's not. You no, know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it, it was the most amazing shit, you know. And that's what I, I thank God for that because, it's, you know, like, I, I needed that, you know. I, I really need that. And... It just narrowed the lane so much for me. You know, you get rid of so many baggage, you feel lighter. Well, I want you to be you know. in a more happy. I am in a happy. Mood. I know place. it messed you up. No, 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 no. I just know you messed it messed you up and all that. But I just, you know. Yeah. You know how it goes. Yeah, I, I, know, just, I, know, I, know. I just want to see you. I want the old Peter back. I want to see you smiling and happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And happy. Cursing and me out. Fed, out you know, stuff. Cursing people out. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Doing me. Yeah. <laughs> doing me. How long you yeah. in there? I just got here last night. Oh. I'm, I'm probably going to be here uh, until Thursday. I just moved in Miami. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I wanted, uh, I, I had too much space and I'm never there, and it was way too expensive. So I'm like, I got to move and scale back, and I did, and I felt good about that move too. And I put my my shit in storage, you know. And I'm like, okay, so where am I gonna live? I don't know <laughs> yet. <laughs> you know, so I just wanted to, you know, just end certain chapters, and and um you know create space for new ones it's a perfect symbolic time to do yeah yeah, yeah it was cool it was cool i will i spend i spend christmas day i was wondering what the fuck i did on christmas day just before i got on this live and it just came to me i spent christmas day with my son and my grandson mm -hmm. all right and my grandson haven't seen me in like probably six months right but when he when he see me, immediately there's a connection, and he starts smiling, and he come over and he grab my face, grab my face, and he would not let me go the whole time I was there, you know. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna have to spend more time around this kid. And then when I was there, his mom told me that, uh, oh, by the way, we're having another baby, and I'm like. You just had this baby. You just turned <laughs> one. And she's like, yeah, but, you know, um, I'm four months pregnant. She said, I'm going to the doctor. This was Saturday. Was Christmas, Christmas Day was Monday. This was Monday. She said, I'm going to the doctor uh, on uh, Wednesday, and they're going to tell me what I'm having. So I said, damn, I hope it's a girl. I saw her on Friday. She said, it's a boy. <laughs> So she's having another boy. Aww. How many how many boys is that? For her, her that's her second and, and my uh that's that's Peter's wife, so she's gonna have her second son. And at Portia, his sister who's older than him, she got the, the twin boys. Mm hmm Okay. That was on so the crazy Gladys. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm looking at them, I'm like, damn. My, this is like a real reality show because these kids, my grandkids look white. <laughs> and your black ass in the middle. <laughs> this shit is crazy. I'm like, I'm like, my fucking life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy as hell. You know, but I'm here. i tell you something. When you're going through something like last night, you'd be surprised how I many shit went through my mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I was out there on that fucking expressway and see these cars are just coming by, you know? I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, listen, if one of them ain't gonna slow down, I'm looking at the two people I put on the side of the street and like, 
if one of these cars is not gonna slow down, I'm jumping over there. See, <laughs> y'all on your oh, own. You already <laughs> had your exit plan, huh? What? <laughs> you know, and then I'm looking at the news today. You know how many people died on the street last night? Oh, God. No. I don't want to read. I really you never pay, pay attention to shit tell like me that. How many people died? No, no, no. All you got to do is put on channel. All you I'm do is not going to look at it. Here's the thing. When you focus on negativity, that's where your mind is going to be. Yeah, but my, I don't want my mind to be positive. there, but, you know. Do you know how many babies were born last night? Do you know how many flowers were were bloomed? Do you know, like, do you know, like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to know how yo, many people died. But, but hold up for a second, Michelle. That's the same reason why nobody stopped for these people. No, that, that's yeah. different. Yeah, but why did not Stop, Michelle. I, I can't speak for them. Because, Maybe they were scared. Maybe they were because single there was women afraid, in the car by themselves there, there on their way home from work. Maybe it was a lot of reasons why you don't stop in the Yo, middle of the night I, on the side. I, of the, I, the reason I thought is that this happened around 11. I was on the, I was out there around 11 when I looked when I was getting off the ramp because I was wanted to see how many times I have to go home and change to go to MCK and it says 11.08. Then when I look up, that's when I saw the. That's when I saw the the all those sparks when it hit the the wall. All right, so that's how I remember what time it is. And when I was out there, when I left out there, it was damn. It was eleven thirty, so all that time went by. Uh, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go home and change. But I was like, my, my hands were shaking and shit. And then I saw the blood on my hands. I was like, I got to go and wash this shit off. And then I'm like, wait up. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to go chill and go to bed. You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy. And my boys was burning my phone up. Where you at? Where you at? This red knife. Oh, where we at? We're going to MCK. Where you Wasn't at? it your party? Huh? What's it no, your party? I was hosting at MCK. All right. And you I didn't decided, show up to the party that you was hosting? Man, they, they could look at my Instagram and they could see why I didn't I'm show up. I'm glad I didn't go outside. Yeah. I couldn't go. I couldn't go. No. I couldn't go after that. It's, it's understandable. Yeah. That's crazy. That shit is crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to beat you up for, you know, for your traumatic experience. I'm just saying, just... Now, I was just blown away that nobody stopped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I figured someone would have stopped to assist and help. You know, but nah, people like the fuck People that. aren't nice anymore in this new age. People don't do that. Like, it's so many tricks and people be on the side of the road. Then you pull over and they, they rob you. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like people just don't stop anymore. I don't know that I would. I'd probably call the police and keep going. But if I'm by myself, I doubt if I would stop. Yeah, I, I, I feel that. But it was just a, like an a automatic thing mm -hmm. for me to do. Mm -hmm. Cause if I could help somebody, uh, I wanted to help. Yeah, you know? man, Peter. But, but, but what did you do last night? Uh, <laughs> I sat at home and drank champagne. Oh, yeah. dope. Yeah, had a good time in my house. It's my house, and I live here. That's what you said you were going to do when I talked to you like a week ago. I did, and it was great. Yeah, I talked to all my friends on Facetime. They was in the house too. Mm. So that's good. I didn't. I, I didn't. Going out. I thought about going out, but then I changed my mind. I could have. My phone died like right after I got home, and I I didn't put it on the charger. I just said, you know what? I'm gonna tune out until tomorrow. You know. And when I wake up and turn my shit off, it's like just keep on making noise. All everybody does. Wishing me happy new year and my kids are looking for me like daddy where are you daddy where are you why are you not answering the phone daddy why are you not answering the phone daddy and i had to call all of them back and explain to them why yes you yeah. did because you know we have to talk to our parents before the end of the night it's very important somebody's talking to you miss motivation one is saying times are the same michelle I I well, I've done the same thing. I went to church, work, and came home. 
How good. Oh. And she also said, have Happy New Year to Peter, to Mr. Peter and, and Misha. Why hey, Mr. Mr. Motivation. Yeah, you know who that is? Mm-hmm. That's one of my subscribers. Okay, good. One of my Patreon members, one of my squad members. Okay, why are you bringing your people over here on my page. Because picture. I'm on here. They see I'm on here. They're going to come see what I'm talking about. You don't want me here? But I didn't know. I, I didn't know. And you my were people going to leave with me. When you, does it take on. When you wow, add right, somebody right. to your life, what is, somebody it to notifies what you, their followers okay. that they're live. Okay, I don't know this thing. You know I don't know this thing. Somebody's asking us what are our take on TJ Jake's drama. And they said, I love him. That's your take. <laughs> I don't. I don't know anything about Mr. T.J. Jake at all. You know they're trying to get him wrapped up in that Diddy stuff. Okay. Why? Why? I, you know, people. People say that things are happening. Oh wow! Look, Porsche just sent me a gift. Porsche who? Porsche. Porsche who? Oh, Porsche, the dealership. <laughs> Oh, you, well, they should send you a gift. You, you they, send, they should send me lots of gifts. Yeah, right? you, you got two Porsche. Mm -hmm. You know, you're a Porsche lover. That's good for you. Mm -hmm. Dope. I'm a lover. And why you got to tell people how many cars I got? But I'm just that, saying. That's all right. We told them the last time we was on this live. They don't remember. Okay. okay. Now you had to remember. Okay, well, they know now. <laughs> you know what flew back on the plane with you? You got night? a Bentley. I'm just kidding. Who? I don't. <laughs> Oh, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. He had he had a kid with Portia. Dennis? Dennis. I could not remember Dennis' name. You, you, he sat right so You spoke to him and you couldn't remember his name? No. You, you know, like, I, I, I never really watched the show when he was on it. And I mm -hmm. met him outside of the show. So he's opening a restaurant in Wynwood in, in Miami. And he's like, yo, I'm 650 in and I'm not even open yet. And Miami so hard. I've been working on this restaurant for two you years. The hot dog factory. It's something called Crew mm. or something like that. Mm. Is it a hot dog place? No, Crew is the other one that do does uh. Hook it's a hookah hookah. lounge. Yeah, hookah and chicken wings and stuff. Like yeah, that. yeah. So he said he's opening that, <laughs> and we talk. And I didn't know like he's he, he seems he seems pretty solid. He looked like he work a lot. Mm -hmm. He got a lot of businesses. Yeah. Yeah. He's a hustler. Yeah. And I like it that he works. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, he, he, he actually do the work. It don't seem like he's, like, it, it, there's nothing fake about that boy when it comes to his work. I appreciate that. In him and I didn't you know, the first time I'm actually talking to him, you know, and we, we do the same thing for a living. So he's like, oh, you see That's why I'm surprised you, you never talked to him before. I mean, see all those restaurants here. We're not in the same circle, mm -hmm. you know. So it's the first time he sat beside me in the plane, I'm like. And yeah, then it's pretty cool. Then he went into a deep sleep. <laughs> he was snoring. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was watching the, uh, I was watching the football game. Uh -huh. Ah, so what else is going on? What did I miss? Oh, that's it. They said natural looks good on me. Thank you, because I have on no makeup. Y'all know I'm. Yeah, yeah. They say you. They were saying no lash. There's no glasses. No nothing. I feel butt naked by the face. You crazy as fuck. <laughs> Just saying. You know we need something. I need some lashes and some lipstick and some uh, concealer uh. and stuff. You know. You see, you see, y'all get to do all of that. We get to just be natural all the time. But your skin is fine. I mean, you do stuff to your beard. You comb it and, you know, no, like you don't come out looking no, how it is crazy. Actually, I need to trim it a little bit right now because it's... And you moisturize. You wash your face and do yeah, stuff. I'll, yeah, soap and water every yeah. morning. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. No, but y'all do a lot of other shit. We, you know, y'all do. We need a lot of other stuff. We do. We need concealer for the bags. We need like uh, eyebrows. Mm -hmm. We need lashes to make our eyes pop. Cause right now it looks sleepy. I ain't got no lashes on. <laughs> Shut up, Peter. Mm -hmm. Need lashes to make your eyes pop. We do. Okay. Right. Okay. That's not. It's not for you to know. It's just for you to appreciate. 
<laughs> I like to know what I'm gonna wake up with before I go to sleep. <laughs> After we peel it all off. <laughs> Pull that shit off. I wake up in the morning like, who the fuck are you? Pop the teeth out. Pop it. <laughs> I wake up in the morning like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Let me take my take my weave out. <laughs> my my weave don't come out. So. Oh man. Weave. Oh, I know somebody that. <laughs> okay, I was gonna drop. I was gonna drop dime, but it's a famous person that I know. Uh, boyfriend told me that they've never seen her without her wig. And I believe it. I'm like, how the fuck you mean you never seen her without a wig on, my nigga? Cause she sleep in it. She sleeps in it. She tied she up at night. She sleeps in it. And then by the time you get up, she might change a wig to another wig. So I say, you didn't even see when she do the switch? And they're like, no, bro. She go in the bathroom and she lock the bathroom. And then she come out and this new motherfucker come out with her. <laughs> so I like, I promise you, I promise you on God when I say this, there's no way I couldn't be with you, all right, and not see you completely naked. And I mean, no wig, okay? I want to see the braids or whatever it is that the wig is attached to or whatever. I want to see, I want to see no makeup. I want to see no eyelashes. I want to see, I want to see who you the fuck you are, my nigga. I don't want to see a representative. I do, I do not want to see you. If I'm going to be with you and I'm living with you and I'm sleeping and waking up with you. Well, I mean, by the time you get to that part, okay, no, but you ain't going to no. just... Meet no, this cat been with this woman me. for two years, and you have never seen her in a, in a raw form. How the I, I can't I, I wouldn't be able to do it. It's like yo, that's a little bad. That's a little bad. For two years, so you never yeah, seen that. But I mean, but she's a celebrity. She got an image to maintain. <laughs> Nobody's seen her without her. <laughs> Why you got me out here? I'm about to go. <laughs> I'm about to go. There's no way I could be in that relationship. Knowing how... Yo, listen. Listen. Yo, when I used to live with uh, CB, okay? CB, come on. What well, she did? Take that wig off. She's done that on live before. Snatch her wig off. Shit, yeah, and then I'm like, damn. This is pretty much motherfucker without any of that a wipe the make ball because you can't get it on you know i like white sheets and a white pillowcase you gotta wipe all of that shit off take a shower before you come into this bed you know what i'm saying so you get to see all of that i have some pictures i tell that nigga if you ever fuck with me i'm gonna post these pictures don't do that. <laughs> don't do I that. Never, but even with those pictures you know she's still beautiful but i'm telling you yo I could not be in that relationship and not see this nigga. Even when she switched her wigs, I'm not seeing that. Y'all worried about the wrong thing. I mean, we were worried about the wrong thing. What the why, fuck are you talking about? Why do you care? I mean, why do we care? It's not... Because I, because you're my woman. I need to see you. No, I need to see you. So that means y'all don't take showers together? Or I, have y I mean, but they should have that conversation in. Yeah, that's what I He said. probably okay with it. He probably just been like, no, whatever. No, no, because the nigga was having a moment when he said, you know, I've never seen this nigga without a wig on. Yeah, that epiphany, it just, <laughs> ding. This nigga was having a moment when he said that. I'm like, it got my attention immediately. I said, word? <laughs> He's like, I never. And I'm like, how long have you been dating? He said, a couple of years. I said, and you never? Do you, nigga, do you all sleep and wake up together? He said, yeah, but that shit is on, all right? She go to the bathroom and we're going out and I'm getting dressed in the next bathroom. When I come out, she got another one on. I said, so you yeah. never see the, the halftime report? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> that is crazy funny to me, yo. Why are you barking? He's like, get off the phone with Peter. <clears throat> I'm about to. To smell the wig. Somebody to says smell. See yeah. it. Yeah, listen. That's my, that's yo. Peter, I'm a, I, I, I'm going to say this. My hair smells fresh. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say this. There's nothing worse than that when you're in the bar. <laughs> than when you're in the bar. Yeah, that when you're in the bar and you know the music is loud, so you have to go up on the person when you're talking to them, mm -hmm. right? And then you smell their hair is dirty. That's worse shit in the world. If, if a woman don't take the time to wash her wig, <laughs> she don't wash her ass. Oh gosh! And what did you can't smell it? You can, smell uh, and maybe they can't. Maybe I, they can't. I don't smell even it. like when you curl it and it get that uh, that burn smell to it. I don't like that. My hair smells like conditioner. Well, let me tell you something. Yes. Somebody asked me if I'm Trinidadian. Really? I'm Jamaican. One thousand percent. Um. Uh, yeah, so it's nothing okay. worse. No, for real. It's nothing worse, Michelle. Let me tell you my pet peeve, Michelle. A woman with that don't keep up with her hygiene, like, I don't want to smell your breath and it being funky. I want to smell it that, to be fresh. That means they don't brush their teeth. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, and that's important. And Yo, listen, that's important. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very important. It's a deal breaker. I don't care what you look like. I remember once, uh, years ago, I'm going to say this is back in probably 1986. All right. It was just, I don't know if she's Puerto Rican or Dominican or whatever the fuck she was, but this woman looked like, remember the, the actress Raquel Welch? Uh -huh. Okay. But she had big green eyes and beautiful. And her teeth was big and white. And then I'm like, damn, this motherfucker's fine. I can't believe I'm going to get this nigga. And then I'll go up on this motherfucker, and she said something. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> her breath was so horrible, yo. It killed the deal immediately. I'm like, yo, I'm going to have to take this nigga to the dentist. I'm going to have to find out what the fuck it is. Now you, know you going to take her to the dentist. Nigga, you want her I'm that bad? Yo, you going to go get her mouth? Yo, yo, I wanted that motherfucker. I'm like, we're going to have to go. How how the hell do I say to her, what is wrong? Or why, why you should smell like that? Right on Maybe the inside. Maybe we need to go to the dentist. Maybe we need to go to something. Because if I could fix that nigga, I could fuck with this chick. You know what I'm saying? You know? I was I was yeah. imagining what our baby's gonna look like until she opened her mouth, yo. That shit fucked me up. Okay, I'm, I'm about to go. Thank you for yeah, no, this kid talk. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. I already looked at her. I'm gonna say, oh my god. I got a fish for that. My I'm, Christmas I'm, decorations. I am doing it without the condom with this chick because I want to have a baby with her. What? And then when she you opened, always do this. I and then when okay. she opened, when she opened her mouth, yo. It was a deal breaker. It was a fucking deal, deal breaker. Somebody said they'd rather smell a woman's breath than a man's breath. You better what be you happy do? it wasn't her coochie. <laughs> Y'all are so crazy. Yo, listen. Back teeth have a cavity. She needed a dental visit. She needs something. Probably had that, a ride too. That shit was horrible. They said you trauma. <laughs> you still think about it. Yeah, you remember this, how I smelled this now? Is back in, this is back in 1986. <laughs> so you know I'm traumatized by that. So my thing is that, like, I'm going to talk to you, and if and if nothing, I'm like, oh, shit, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? And if I come up to you or kind of give you a hug or something like that, and your hair smells like you shampoo it, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so happy. You know what I'm saying? I am so happy when those two things are right. You know what I'm saying? Because... If one of them are wrong, it's a deal breaker. I don't want to smell your hair. Yeah. Okay. All your friends in here. Peter looks like his breath smells like heaven. Oh. Baby, it does. <laughs> I assure you, it does. No, okay. it does, I baby. It does. It does. Peter's breath. I, I've never. Breath no one. Like, uh, no one uh, have ever said to me that. Did team. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Your breath smells like did team and chicklets. I don't even I don't even chew gum or stuff like that. You don't you know regular experiment. Nah. Oh, okay. Not, I don't. Breathe on me, Peter. 
Y'all are hilarious. <laughs> now, remember what he said about the lady. What, which one? Peter talk about everybody. Be talking about blood wigs. Be talking about stacking breath. What else he be talking about, child? Yeah, I don't Hygiene like when, is important. Yeah, I I don't like when I'm talking to guys. Yeah, yeah, if I have a friend and I'm talking to him and his breath is fucked up, I'm telling him immediately, nigga, you need to go do something about that. Or or go get, yo, let's go to CVS, my nigga. Okay, let's get some Listerine or something because we're not going to the your, your guys out too, your boys out. Yeah, yeah. I got to tell, tell my guys, if, if your shit is right, and if your shit is wrong all the time, then you can't be my guy and because you, you're not on top of your game, okay? All right? And I remember girls telling them about, where's your friend with the stinky breath? It's not my friend anymore. <laughs> he couldn't fix that shit. Because <laughs> women don't like shit like that either. Women can't stand it. You know what, though? I, I've seen women that are talking to guys who shit was funky, but they had a nice car. And I'm like, oh, she's a gold digger. Because <laughs> there's no way she's going to bypass What's too short? Spread. Say, I always remember that too short. She don't want me. She want to fuck my car. Remember yeah. that line? Yeah. 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 And they go by that stinky, they go right past the stinky brick to get to the car. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, Peter, when are you coming back on the show? We've been waiting for you. Just tell, you gotta tell me when. No, I be I'm telling you deal with them. when. You be like, and then when I call you, you be yeah, But you like, you want to do shows at 1230 at okay. night. Okay, okay. It's a new year. Okay. Today, I did a show at 5 o'clock. Somebody said one second. Somebody said, not everybody could afford dentists. You know, there's so many plans and dental plans that's damn near free. The Obamacare dental, dental plans, plans is, is free are cheap. Before. Yeah, they mm -hmm. are. Okay. Smoky breath is horrible. I hate going into like cigar bars and restaurants Somebody where said, they smoke. Peter and, knows all he deal with is our gold diggers. You know, I used, Actually, used to I hang don't. with a bunch of rappers and stuff, and I would always yeah. come out your heavy smell like weed. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why I don't go to cigar bars because I don't want my clothes mm -hmm. to smell like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and by the way, the person that says all I deal is, all I deal with is gold diggers. Gold diggers don't talk to me because they know that I'm not the guy that's gonna be spending money on that them like that. What I heard, I Peter. I only do that with my lady. I'll I heard buy you get good gifts and stuff, yeah, and, and to my lady. But that's what I mean. So yeah, a gold so, digger, digger might because, see that and because be because she's because she's my lady. I know, but what I'm saying is, a gold digger would try to be your lady. Well, no, it didn't. It don't start out like that for me. Oh, you gotta earn. You gotta earn those type of things to come from me. It do Once start out. You gonna feed them. You gonna do something. Oh come on. You gonna buy a bottle I'm, at the bar? No, I don't buy bottles. Got, got the wrong one. I don't buy bottles. Remember, I know what the bottle actually costs, so I don't buy bottles in clubs. Okay, I really don't. Not even in clubs, I buy bottles. Usually, the club owners all know me and they'll send the bottle over, but I don't buy bottles. All right, I'll make sure that the, the server or the waitress get a healthy tip. But me buying bottles in clubs never happened. I know. Peter is acting brand new. He I'm not like, acting brand new. I just don't buy bottles. I've been in this Peter, bottle. Peter, you have all these beautiful women around you. You buying no, something. I buy them cocktails. I buy them drinks. <laughs> I buy them shots. And I oh, buy they, them see. They, they just want a yeah. shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I buy them shots. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. And if I'm going out, if I'm going to the club and I am have four or five girls with me, I'm letting the club owners know I'm coming and they're going to send bottles over. Mm -hmm. All right. Because it's always a good look. We know this. Is on, we, we know this. If people that's in that business, we know that we got to have pretty people in the place for other people to stay and drink and want to get with them pretty, you know, people that's in the joint. Okay, want to? They want to flex. The next table is gonna buy two, three bottles because they flex it. Okay, if they're next to a table that got like a half a dozen beautiful women, okay, them boys gonna come in. They're gonna make it rain immediately. You know what I'm saying? All right, but I'm a club owner. I'm a restaurant owner. I don't buy bottles. 
I went to Vegas once. This happened around seven, eight years ago. And I order, I'm, it's like three of us. And they wanted, they wanted, I don't know nobody, right? So like in order for you to get the section, you got to buy bottles. And I said, well, I'm not really a big drinker. Though, so you got to buy at least one bottle. I said, okay, let me get a bottle of kettle one. All right. You know what my bill was? For one bottle of kettle one? What, $50? With, uh, with like some water. Some Red Bull, cranberry juice, pineapple juice, twelve hundred dollars. Why was it twelve hundred dollars? That's what I say. That's how much it cost a bottle of well, kettle one. A bottle of kettle one liter is fifty two dollars. So why am I spending twelve hundred dollars for that with some Red Bull, some water, and and two container of uh, cranberry juice and pineapple juice? I don't know. She told me. That is the section. Mm. It's a real estate. So the real estate was like a thousand dollars. The bottle got to be. Well, I don't know what they sell their bottles for. The bottle probably around five hundred dollars for a bottle of kettle one, mm. and then I had to pay around seven hundred dollars for the real estate and tax well, the two did. I respect uh, y'all for buying bottles then, because I ain't never know bottles cost that much. No, no. In my establishment, mm. okay, I sell a bottle for like for four fifty, okay. <laughs> Plus tax and gratuity. All right, but what but I understand what, why they did that in Vegas because what I'm selling also is the real estate. Okay, you could drink. You could, if you want to drink a bottle and don't spend that kind of money, buy the bottle and go home. Okay, you can live in you in your living room and it'll be still fifty two dollars. <laughs> but, but but if you're in a person venue, and you know like that shit's gonna cost money when you take up space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I understand it. That's why I don't buy bottles. I mean, I don't buy bottles. Because somebody's asking you a question, Michelle. Somebody's really, Michelle? To Michelle, how could you not know that? I'm just saying I don't buy bottles. I just drink them. <laughs> and somebody said, I just happen to walk in and there's a bottle there and I'll be like, hey. I said, men love natural looking women. They actually do. Oh, man. So these girls out here with the BBLs and all of that shit, y'all competing and getting all of that shit done. When a nigga see you coming, you already know that you come and you want the bag to maintain all of that shit. So most men that I talk to, when you come and you have all of that shit but going on, they don't want nothing to, to do with you. To maintain what? If you already got the BBL, what you got to maintain? Let, you already got it. Listen, the you girls need to worry about the ones who don't have the BBL because they the ones who don't it. Listen, you. I don't know why you see it that way, but when I'm out... Because I'm, I'm a girl, with, I don't with, really care. But when I'm out and I'm with the boys and you see that girl coming and she got the extra eyelashes on, she got the wave going on her forehead, okay, because she got whatever wig on. All right, her makeup is fucking banging. And she got the BBL that mean her outfit is tight. And then she always, you know, have that Chanel purse up there. You know what I'm saying? All right, you already know. That's going to cost you money. What? It's going to cost you money. She ain't, she ain't fucking with no nigga that can't afford a, that Chanel purse. What? She's not. not. She ain't looking so for... So we need to carry purses that aren't Chanel now? No, I'm just saying. Guys guys now know. We, we talk. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the Chanel purse, if the girl got the YSL purse, okay, all right. Yeah, you probably could be able to deal that with That costs just as much? Yeah. No, no. Nah, well, hell no. Categories different. Okay. Stop playing. Okay, right. she got a Gucci purse. Okay, all right. She shop at Gucci. She all right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but you see somebody with that Chanel purse. And what's that other go hard? Go what? Go yard. Oh my God! Don't, don't talk to her. She's gonna the, fuck your pocket. Your. Oh, fuck your pocket up. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go fuck Damn. your pocket up. Okay. You gotta start not uh, sharing the yeah. purse. No, no, not if you're trying to run. What about Prada? To... Prada is not cheap. No, it's not cheap. That's what I'm saying. But I'm just saying, I'm just yeah. trying to get a visual about what kind of purse I should carry if I so I can attract more men. I got the YSL purse. I'm like, all right, she all right. I got one. Okay, she ain't. Them, but I got the big one. Yo, she ain't doing too much. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right, all right, and she might have some red bottoms on. All right, okay, she she's going for fashion over comfort. <laughs> I, I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Okay, she's trying to look good. All right, 
But the girl with the Chanel bag on that posted Chanel bag up on the bar to let you know, nigga, don't come over here unless you could afford this shit. Trust me. That is okay. That's so funny. Okay. Mm. Yo, I can't trust my silver one the other day. Yeah, but yo, okay, you might carry it and you might be discreet about it because you don't have to flaunt, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the ones that carry it and they flaunt. Mm -hmm. Okay. She gonna put it up on you know the bars got the hooks under the bar. So if she put her Chanel purse on the hook under the bar, mm -hmm. she got it. She ain't looking for nobody. She got it. She mm -hmm. could afford her own Chanel. But she put it on top of the bar. But she put it on top. Next to her, 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 her drink. Yeah, and post it a certain way. Yeah. Nigga. Nigga, please. <laughs> leave that one alone. Okay? Man, if you're out there, you hear what I'm saying? Leave that one alone. If she got the go hard, what do you call it again? Go yard. Oh, if she got that bag, mm -hmm. leave her alone. That means she got bag collection. Okay? Whoever got the go yard, that means she has several other bags at home. Okay, the go yard is for them, for them special occasion <laughs> when she just wanna when she just wanna fuck another bitch up. You know what I'm saying? She she bring that out. You know what I'm saying? And if she have the Hermes bag, she telling you fuck off. It's a wrap. If, if she got that bag, all right, she's telling you Hermes. fuck off because yes. if you don't know what that is, then don't even talk to me. Okay, and I. Guarantee you she have a Hermes bag off when you go outside. She <laughs> she driving a Benz, okay? A Benz. Or she driving a G. Or she driving a G wagon, okay? All right. Or or she driving a, a five series, uh, like a five eighty Mercedes. She driving a big boy. Oh. She got that bag. She driving a big boy. Mm. Okay. So All right. That's for sure. Again. That's for sure. I'm just saying. So, it, it, so, so I, saw, I said, what do you think about Tory Burch's purses? <laughs> Tory Burch's purses is a starter kit. I could fuck with her. Okay. okay. So if they driving a Porsche, what that mean? That mean you got to come right because I'm in a Porsche, nigga. What are you driving? Okay. okay. You got to come right. A girl pull up in a Porsche, you know, and she's saying something. Mm. Okay. What so what are you driving? Wrangler? Huh? What about a Jeep Wrangler? Oh, that and if she got a Jeep Wrangler and she have the Hermes bag, you definitely can't talk to her. Okay. And she got Mickey Thompson's. You you definitely can't talk to her. Why not? She, she, if she's driving a Jeep Wrangler and she got a Hermes uh -huh. bag, then look all you gotta do is look at the other pieces that she have. Look at her timepiece. It's gonna be right. Okay. She probably has some diamonds around her neck very subtle you know what i'm saying or that what did you call that that van what what's that them things with the, yeah, the, with the with the with the clover if she have the if she have the if she have the long one back mm -hmm. up you can't afford her okay because i see the price on those sixteen thousand plus you cannot lot. afford it if she, get, if she got the long thousand. one come on man let's just fake okay Dang. okay Yo, guys are doing their homework. I gotta so stay out that flea market. Yo, let me tell you something. And if you see a guy walk into a room, all right, and she got and he got designer this and it's in big bold letters, mm -hmm. he's broke. He's broke. <laughs> Don't talk to him. I always say that. Oh my he's god. He's broke. I always say that. If you see a guy walk into the room and he got the big design and shit on him. He got all or, this Celine on and this on and shit on and big old names he's, across he's, their chest. Yes. He's broke. He's broke. I Leave him alone. Say that. And he's going to have a nice Mercedes outside, but when you get to his house, you're going to want to run. They didn't rent it. They rented it from yeah. Turo. Yeah, well, I don't care where he rented it from, but if he come, yo, niggas who got money are not loud, okay? Ladies, mm -hmm. listen to what I'm saying. Guys who have money are not loud. I like this okay? kind of All right? They might, be wearing, they might be wearing some Adidas, but he might have... Uh, uh, sixty thousand dollar watch on, okay. And in Atlanta, they got so many fake Rolexes. You can't, you can't know nowadays and shit. Okay, all right. Just watch how he's how he put himself together, okay. And if you talk to him and niggas smell like real clean and shit, mm -hmm. and his shirt is Chris or his t-shirt is right, and it, and he's not, he's not look like a walking billboard for a designer, okay. He got it. 
He got it. And he's not pressed. He'll, he's not pressed. He'll buy you a drink just because you're a lady. And he ain't trying to get your phone number. You know, you know I saying? love that. Yeah. To buy you a drink just because yeah. you're you a lady. You're a lady. I love those. Yeah. And he's not trying to get your phone number. It's just mm -mm, it's a lady at the bar. You know what I'm saying? But yo, find out what she drinking. What are you drinking, sweetheart? Okay, I got you. And then you go, you you stay in your your conversation. That girl's gonna want to hang out to find out. Oh, why? Okay, he's different. You know what I'm saying? Okay, real talk, ladies, don't go for the scam artists because Atlanta's full, full of them. Full of them. It's full all about them. the shows. Full, full of them. Stunts and shows. Mm -hmm. Full of them. Mm -hmm. All right. Them dudes will show you their best hand, and then the rest of it is you playing spade. He might have no spade in his hand, a bunch of clubs. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. And then he acted like he got some spade. That nigga got no hand. He's going bored all day long, but he's gonna make you believe that he got the 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 ace of spade, the 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 fucking. Deuce of spade that he is like he got the whole fucking series like, in his hand. Atlanta niggas, of, Atlanta niggas are tricky like the that. <laughs> Them niggas are tricky like that. And if you see him in the club at all times and he's not a club owner or a promoter, okay, all right, that nigga's fishing. Don't talk to him. He's fishing. But what you doing yeah. in the club at all times? They got own club. Well, not I gotta you do my too. Homework. I'm saying you're you're telling her. Yeah. If she sees him in the club at all times, yeah, that means yeah. she in the club at She's all times. She's in the club too. too. Exactly. Them niggas are perfect for each other. They, <laughs> <go out. laughs> they could. They're gonna end up at Pancake House just before she dropped the drawers, or or, or Waffle House just before she dropped the drawers. And the nigga that I have no respect for you is probably gonna want to fuck you in the car because he can't take you home. You know what I'm what? saying? Yeah, and if you Somebody go for that, said, why then, you got your comments turned off? That's these Peter comments. This ain't my lie. What comments? Y'all always say I got because you probably off. have your thing set to where only people who follow you can 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 leave comments. Yo, you need to put it to where everyone can leave comments. Michelle, have, how how do you do that, Michelle? I mean, you can't do it while you're on the oh, live, oh, good. Peter. Oh, good. But I, I'll like the fifth show time. you this one day when you're time. not. This is the fifth time you're telling me this, by the because, way. Because, well... Okay. All right, that means you haven't helped me fix it. Okay, that's basically what, what's going on here, okay? First of all, I'm all not right. your secretary. You, you are. No, you, I'm not. You, you are, Peter. No, I'm not. not. Oh, somebody said, Peter, why would you say Peter is looking for hoes? What hoes? I'm not looking for... First of all, let me give you... I'm not looking for nobody, sweetheart. Trust me when I say this looking for no one and i'm not the kind of guy to go to a bar pick up a woman and take her to my house a matter of fact i lived in atlanta now for two years and i live not too far from the places i frequent and not one of them motherfuckers even know where i live mm. okay because i never to bring them back to my house i'm not that guy i'll talk to you when i see you out and if you're nice i'll talk to you again and if i see you somewhere else elegant i'll talk to you again okay then i want to know what you do for a living Okay, and if you do something that I could respect, okay, then I'll talk to you again. And if you're coming to Miami, I'm say, okay, call me and I'll make the reservation for you. And if I see you're cool and I like your friends or the, see the people that you hang out with as cool people, then you might be somebody that I want to speak to. All right, but it's going to take me a while for me to even say, I want to go to the next level with you. And nine out of ten, it's not going to happen because I already got somebody, Okay. All right, so I don't need to be with nobody else when you got somebody. That part. One at a time. All right? All right? That's how I do it. How about that? Well, I mean, mm -hmm. Tell them, Michelle, because you know me. You don't see me with multiple women. I do women. know you. Yeah, but I don't, I, don't do, I don't get down like that. I, you know I don't get down like no, that. No, I don't either. Yeah. You know, but I like. I like, you know, there's a lot of people that need to be outside. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that don't mean they're hoes. They just like being outside. That's true. You know? I wonder if my Ain't no future room. husband on here. He is. Go ahead. Them glasses are banging, though. I like them glasses. He ain't in here on his live right now, I'm sure. Somebody said Peter like a good BBL. No, I don't. Okay. 
I, I think I didn't know wrong with the gym. I'll buy a, a gym uh, membership. It's, it's it's much more inexpensive than spending ten thousand dollars to get some fat from your stomach put in your ass. Okay, and you're not gonna maintain that shit anyway because you took the shortcut. So years from now, it's gonna look fucked up. It, it, and then I'm gonna be. It kills me though how men up. like you always disparage. BBLs and plastic surgery and stuff, but y'all are the first to appreciate it when no, you see it out in the street. You know, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I, I, it took me, I'm a late bloomer when it comes to that. It took me a while to understand the ass thing, but the 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 if I see a girl in her, or, you know, she have a couple of kids and she's a little bit sagging on top, or, yeah, you know, and she, you know, she need help to get them boobs done and I really like her, I'm going to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? Because she's going to look better in her tops. You know what I'm saying? And them shit's going to look right when she take her clothes off. You know what I'm saying? Well, why would you just okay. a minute ago? No, but if I, I said, with... if I, I, I didn't damn nobody. I said, I don't, I said girls with BBLs with the Chanel purse. Remember, it's a whole package. Oh, okay. So if she got her breast yeah. done and she got a yeah, Chanel no, purse, she most she right. Yo, listen, let me tell you something. Okay. A lot of women who breastfeed, Right. Okay. And have and have multiple babies. Okay. Yo, they need to. They need a care package. They need. You know. Well, some women lose weight and they butt disappear. Yeah, but I, they need a lift. I, I just you know. I just found out about that. To be honest with you, a couple of years now. So I'm still processing that. You know, you're getting your your, your chest done. You know what I'm saying? That shit been going on forever. The butt shit is something that just come no. into play like three well, it's years. It's been maybe. going on for like twenty yeah, years. Yeah, but I no, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. So you thought now, these big butts was real? No, no, and I'm not. I'm not the nigga who was looking for the big butt anyway. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? I'm looking for a really nice person. They, they don't even have to have any ass. I don't care if their their personality and the, and I could have a conversation with them and their smile is dope and no. their breath's not stink and their hair smell good. I'm fucking with them. Okay. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Their breath smell good too. Yeah. The they, smell good. Somebody said, yeah. "How do you notice a thirsty woman?" How you know they thirsty? Thirsty. thirsty. We haven't even talked about that yet. But thirsty, we're saying that, and, you know, we go out a lot. You know, I go out a lot because the business that I'm in. I'm saying when that girl come in there and the package is right and then she put the Chanel purse on the bar. Come That's on. thirsty. Yes, she's fishing. Okay. She's Remember fishing. that, ladies, don't put your purse on no, the bar. No, don't. Put it under don't, the spot on the hook. Don't, don't. Yeah, and if you're sitting at a table, you know, um, put it in your lap. You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, I don't know why y'all need to come out like that anyway to post up like that shit. That shit, you know, the purse. With, with purse. Yeah, well, you know, you know, no, you, every woman need a purse, but I'm saying it's how you display your purse, you know what I'm saying? But And chicks that hang out, to be honest with you, they come in packs. And they usually, you could tell when they just that type of crew, you know what I'm saying? All of them got a dope ass purse and shit, you know what I'm saying? But come on, we're not stupid. We know the difference between the girls that's just their thing or the girls that they're trying to maintain that thing and they want a nigga to maintain it because of how they position themselves. Okay, we, you know, we're not rookies to this game, okay? And men that work for a living and, you know, they, most of the guys that I hang out with, they, they're self-employed, they don't work for nobody, right? And they have money, they have disposable income, right? Okay, so those type of guys, they look, they, they know all the signs of what not to play with and what to play with. I'm telling you, they, they do, they study that shit for real. You know what I'm saying? And they're out. And most of the guys I know, to be honest with you, they don't, they don't go to bars to pick up women. They don't. It's a water hole for them to just meet up with dudes. And if some girl is pretty, most of the guys I know, there's a lot of sleazebag niggas out there. But the guys that I hang out with are mostly like-minded dudes like myself. You know, we don't mind having a great conversation with a woman at the bar. You know what I'm saying? And if she, she do something that interests us, you know what I'm saying? And we thought if they're like-minded, you know, then we'll, and we talk about the same type of places that we frequent, you know, and we see them out again, we'll buy them a drink, we see them out again, we'll buy them a drink. And, and if we just see them out and they, they look like they're fishing, then, then we know what they are. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And we leave it right there.
-hmm. okay? But most of the guys that I hang out with, okay, they, they're they not looking for that. They, 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 they find that somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? They don't so find it. Someone part. said, where do you go to look for women? Mm. Well, when I was looking for women, that's not where I go. I usually listen. I meet some. I meet some of the most incredible people in the supermarket. Just regular conversation. See, you can see what they buy. You can see if they're taking care of themselves, and if they're not, by what's in the shopping cart. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All right, and they notice the same thing too. You know, health conscious people. Okay. Yeah, I'm missing out on my dream, man, because I'm ordering Instacart. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. You need to go to the supermarket. I'm missing out. I don't go to the grocery store no more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and if I'm in the mall and I, you know, I see a girl and she, she doing shopping and she's in, like I go to Neiman Marcus or I go to Saks, all right, and I see them shopping and they're not. They have they by themselves and they you know they have a couple of bags by themselves and I'm looking at their hand to see if they have a ring on or if they got a nice watch on and their shoes and their hair if they, they got their shit together and they say oh what did you get and if they if they friendly they're like oh I just got from the okay all right cool mm. you know what I'm saying oh, you're not married are you no I'm not you got a boyfriend yes. Oh, tell him he's lucky. You keep it stepping. You understand what I'm saying? Because she just tell you, I'm good. All right? Keep it stepping. Don't keep on talking to them. Because they're going to look at you like, okay, so why would I want to be with you? Because I might be the, the girl at home and you're doing that to somebody else. Because I want to remember how you, you first approached me. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's a lot. It's, we're grown men. We know how to do this. Somebody said, what grocery store you be at? Trader Joe's. In Miami Beach, yes. Trader Joe all day oh, really long. Mm. Trader Joe's? Yeah. Okay. Old, 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 food, old food people, they spend money in, and they're health conscious. Yes, I do mm. go to Whole food. I don't go to public. Okay. Unless okay. I'm running in to get some water or something. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Well, Peter, this has been very enlightening. Yeah. And it's two twenty one in the morning and I gotta go to sleep. It like, is. You need to go to bed. Right. And don't be up trying to watch the sun come up. No, no, I'm not doing that tonight. I gotta be downtown at I gotta get up at um six thirty because I gotta be downtown at seven thirty. Okay. okay. All right. So hey guys, it was fun tonight. Okay. I wanted to uh, make sure everybody I hope you your twenty twenty four is better than twenty twenty three. God bless you. Everything is great in your life. Okay, put God first. Okay, all right, and follow your dreams. It will come through. Good night. Good night. <laughs>